All right, hey YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna do the Serpentine Belt on a 2015 Honda CRV, all-wheel drive. Um, so, yep. So you're just gonna need a couple standard tools here. Uh, you'll need a 17 millimeter wrench for the tensioner um, bolt. Uh, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, however you want to play that. Um, you'll need a little flathead screwdriver, and then you'll need another. Uh, doesn't matter the size wrench, but I'll show you. A trick to get enough leverage so that you can turn that because you can't really get a breaker bar in there or anything to move that tensioner pull it off so I'll show you a trick um, but anyway um, here's your serpentine belt right here oops right there's your serpentine belt um, so what I like to do I've already done a little movie magic for you but so we're gonna pull just remove your coolant reservoir here it just slides out of that notch down there um, you just take your screwdriver and you're gonna pry this tab right here away from the plastic bottle uh, so that way it slips out if that groove catches on here and then so once you've done that uh, you can just let it sit right here it'll be fine you don't have to spill it <laughs> stay all right and then after that you're gonna take your 10 mil uh, and take out these two bolts here that way you're not stabbing yourself with this guy because that hurts Get stuff like that. And don't drop the bolts. Okay, and then this bracket just comes out. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take your 17 millimeter um, and you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna put it on the tensioner uh arm right here so it's gonna go like that um, but what I'm gonna show you it's a little trick um, this tensioner you pull it towards you to loosen it so what you got to do is uh, yeah, so that's gonna be pulling towards me but as you can see it's it's really tight in here <laughs> so and you can't there's not enough clearance between here to get a breaker bar or anything on there so what you do take your wrench here your other wrench and you just put it like it's hard to do with one hand I'm just to hold the set you up here for a second so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it on here like that so that now you have more leverage so now when you put this on here and it's a ratcheting wrench, so... Oops, sorry. Okay, so it's on there. And now we have this situation, so now you can see. You pull it. And you gotta make sure you're not riding on the uh, alternator pulley here, cause, so it's gotta just be on the very front of the actual bolt and then you can pull it and then you can see how you get the leverage to move that so it pulls to you um, and then all you do is before you actually take it off though um, most cars have like a diagram for the serpentine belt but there's nothing on this car I've had it since it was brand new so and I never took that off so I don't think these come with them so all you do is you go down there and you just kind of trace out your belt how it goes around all the pulleys taking note on which side and uh, these are grooved grooved belts so you can see there's a little groove so a groove always faces the pulley um, unless it's uh, like going on top of one but I don't think this car does so um, but anyway all you do is you just draw it out so I did it already so that's how mine goes so it goes around my crank around the AC, up above the alternator, around the tensioner, and then I believe that center one's the water pump. Not sure, um, but that's how mine is anyway. So, um, this car has power steering, but I don't see that, so maybe it's electronic power steering? I have no idea, but the pump's not on this belt, so. Um, so anyway, all you do is you're gonna pull that off, or you're gonna release the tension here, 
and then you're going to work that belt off um, and take it off. So, yep, that's it. It's kind of hard to video me doing it, but um, and then when you're putting it back on, I'll well, I'll, I'll cut the video after I get this one off, and I'll show you what the belt looks like, and then I'll try maybe I'll try to put it on with you guys. But it's going to be kind of hard to do both. Even if I set you up on a tripod, you wouldn't be able to see it. So, all right, but I'll show you what how you do it. Okay, so one thing to add before we continue, um, so that tensioner is going to try to go more forward than it was because the belt's no longer holding it back. So what you can do is just get, work your belt out to here. I've worked it off all the pulleys. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back on my wrench, snake that out, and then I'll put the new belt on just like this in this orientation. And then I'll be able to route it the same way. So. And so all I got to do is start with the loop around that and then I should be able to get it back on because it came off that way, so. Okay, so this belt's off. This is the old one. Uh, you can see, so I still have my wrench set up there and it's just holding the pressure. Um, but you can see this belt was getting pretty old. You can actually see, I don't know if that's, yeah, that's like the metal bands in there too, so. Let's see if it'll focus. You can see the shinies in there, yeah. So this belt was pretty old. Um, it's got a hundred and uh, thirty thousand miles on it. Worked just fine. Uh, it started squeaking just a little bit, so I decided to change it. You can see it's starting to fray a little bit right at the seam here. So it was definitely time. Uh, this car spent most of its life in the in the high desert, California, so it was pretty hot. So it still lasted pretty good time. So. But, yep, this one was definitely, definitely time. And then all you gotta do is kind of make sure the parts store, well, I should have looked, well, I did, I asked if it was the right one, and let's see. So you just kind of compare it and make sure they're about the same. Uh, the one you took off is gonna be a little bit bigger than the one you're putting on, just because it's expanded over time. That's what your tensioner is doing. It's just compensating for the stretch that you're getting. So, that looks about right though. So. Should be good. So I'm just gonna start this. And so it's gotta go like this. So I'm gonna, um, I'll just hook this behind that wrench and then I'll match my diagram. And I'll draw that better and maybe I'll, I'll draw that really good and then I'll put it on the, uh, the description for the video so everyone has it. Um, hopefully I was right on what those are. I know the alternator AC and crank and tensioner are right. I don't, I'm pretty sure that middle one is the water pump uh, because I can see the that pipe coming off of it going to the thermostat and everything so I'm pretty sure that's what that is so should be good. Um, but then I'll throw that on there and I'll show you a startup uh, and I'll let you know if there's any anything weird but uh, this is a good time to just kind of check all your um, pulleys and everything, just make sure nothing's squeaking when you're turning it. And your tensioner, uh, the box says to check your tensioner, but it's pretty tight and it's not wobbly right here, so should be good. I don't have any issues with any of this stuff, so I'll just kind of check and make sure everything's going and make sure none of your pulleys are getting funky, but this is still pretty good and this thing has 130,000 on it, so hope to get at least 130 more so we'll see all right I'll show you what it looks like after we're done all right so one of these pulleys um, you're gonna have to fight um, and I tried a bunch of different ways but my recommendation is to do the last pulley be the air conditioning pulley that way you can pull and slip that on there um, on the last one but what you want to do is you want to check just to make sure that all your pulleys are in line here and as you can see my air conditioning pulley isn't so I'm gonna have to loop, pull that pretty hard and then slip it on and make sure it's sitting properly in the grooves that's all you do um, it's pretty easy and then we'll just button everything back up and start it and we all done all right there we go new belt on everything's nice and straight 
uh, it's all good. So, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.